Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awaken the Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here today with us. And my good friend, Kimberly Crow is back with us today. And we're going to be talking about awakening your recreation codes. We talked a little bit about this on the Expanded View Show on Monday, but we're going to go into more details here. And so some of what we're going to talk about today is about, you know, are you ready to have a clear connection of your divine blueprint during these trying times, because we're all going through a difficult time right now. Uh, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, when you align your blueprint, your sovereign being flows and a whole new way of being evolves. And so the connection allows you to give meaning and context to the things that happen in your life. So that's always important for us to get the context, right? And we're gonna talk about how you'll find the truth of your sovereign one in achieving more clarity by connecting and awakening your divine blueprint. So we're gonna talk about the, the divine blueprint quite a bit but we're also gonna be talking about the Awakening Your Recreation Codes. And I'm gonna ask Kimberly what those codes are and what all that means. And for those of you who are new to Kimberly, um, she's a really good friend. She's you know, my partner in crime in the, um, the Expanded View Show. Um, Kimberly Crow is an everyday mystic and is known as the healer's healer. She's the sacred witness to the inner awakened mastery I am retonements. She's an internationally known visionary teacher, artist and transformational healer with 30 years experience. And she can help you achieve your heart's desires by tuning into clearing and harmonizing your unique energy system. As guided by a divine creator, Kimberly can tap directly into your soul to help you achieve your purpose and passions in life. And, you know, Kimberly's with, been with us for a while, for many, many shows. So we always uh, have a wonderful time. The activations are really, really powerful that we, that she does, that brings, that she brings through the call. So stay tuned for that. We're also going to be taking some live caller questions, so you can always raise your hand or you can type your question in the chat. So please join me in welcoming my good friend Kimberly Crow back to the show. Welcome. Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? I'm I'm doing okay today. It's like the energy does. I can feel a I don't know. I can feel a shift today. So there's definitely a shift. Good. Awesome. Um, we needed yeah. we, we needed one. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So let's talk yes. first about, let's just quickly talk about, you know, awakening your, your blueprint, your divine blueprint, but was specifically talking about awakening your recreation codes and what that means and what that looks like. Yeah. I want to talk about that. Yes. So this, and you know, I always get new things. It's like, Oh, when I say yes to doing a show, it's like, okay, here's something new. <laughs> why not? Right. <laughs> right. Why not? So right now we are, you know, we've been in these, the planets are lining up in all of these transits for us to receive these energies here on earth and to support earth herself through her own transition. And so, you know, which means we have to upgrade mm -hmm. <laughs> because she's moving through all of this. And so air systems are being upgraded through this time period. So what I saw, like we're, we just had another shift today for, with the planets. We've went from um, the, there's a lot of planets that are doing a lot of things with like Pluto is that transformation energy. And then the, what Mars has been doing. That's why we've seen so much of the anger that's been acting out, you know, the warrior energy. Mm -hmm. And then it moved into um it's moved into Taurus, which is more, it's not going to be so like running with knives in the dark kind of energy. It's going to be more stable now. Okay. And so today there's a, a trine. All of those energies are, when it's a trine, they line up like in a triangle and Venus just came in. So, you know, she's all about love and support and that unconditional love she's about beauty she's also about what you're gonna you know she's about manifestation too and so is capricorn and so is uh so is taurus so those are there together right now so you know yeah today's the 14th we have these made up calendars of the you know when the new year begins and all that type of stuff and really air new year hasn't really begun yet we're more at that point now than we mm -hmm. were two weeks ago because we were still finishing out we're finishing we were finishing out these old structures because when we had that um when we had that con conjunct on the solstice of the jupiter with saturn that is expansion of structures 
And so we, if you, it's going to happen one way or another. Mm -hmm. So you can take your, you know, if you align with it and how can you go into this, then you can move through those transits with grace and ease. Or if you don't, the structures, the old structures that no longer serve you are going to blow up anyway. You know, it's going, yeah. it's going to move because it's, it's in a, and when I, I don't mean blow up, I shouldn't have used that word. <laughs> They're going to transform. They're going to transform anyway. Okay. So if you go into the expansion and open yourself up with it and then stand in that balance with the love and what it's going to bring to you, you know, this or something better and kind of in that energy, then you're going to go through this, you know, in a more balanced and graceful way. Okay. So we're ha we could be having a lot of inner reflection in the last two weeks of what does pull our energy down, what gives us energy, what no longer serves us. Where that the Uranus is the energy of like sudden insight. So that energy may be really coming up this week during this transit. So if you suddenly have this like whole new way of thinking or like um, a direction to go, pay attention to it. Because it's in flat, it's a in, you know, that incoming flash of that energy. It's like what is out there for you and that next paradigm you can step into. Like this is in your blueprint already. And we have our blueprints that we created before we came here. But then when we get here, however, when we get here, then, you know, we have this whole free will game that we're playing. So we can choose to move in you know we choose the dance after we get here how it is that we're going to dance that out because the soul knows that it's infinite and it has all kinds of time to do this and you know it's up to us what timeline we do that in and so what they showed me was we're at this point right now of what it's like recoding the creation codes really so it's like recreating your creation codes it's recoding them and that the energy is here to support us with that if we choose and say yes to like this recoding. And so it's basically, you know, it's that when I even say that, I can feel this like energy of excitement with it. You know, it's like, okay, it's like stepping in to this whole, like you get off of the plane and you're in a whole different world kind of energy. Mm -hmm. So that energy is there for us to align to and to um and to do this so when we do transmissions today i'm going to hold the space for you all and guide you into um going into your own sacred chamber your own codes to connect into your modad and receiving your own personal downloads with that that are there for you so everybody's experience is going to be different mm -hmm. but it's like that energy is here and um, they've done it to me a couple of times now, and I've been working individually with clients on it. So it's like, okay, the container's like starting to build up. <laughs> awesome. So, so does, does you have questions with that? Does any of that make sense? It makes sense. So what's exciting about it is that, you know, when you're talking about recreation codes, it's kind of like a brand new start even, right? Right. You know, new beginnings, a brand new start. You know, it's like you can create new projects, new ideas, new insights, whatever that happens to be. It's that time that we can create that because our codes are new now. They're not the same old codes from before. Right. Brand we're, new we're codes. recoding. It's like you, just like if you had your computer totally, you know, redone. It's mm -hmm. like if like rebooting it and then and then you bring in new programs and whatever. Yeah. Well, like, you know, when we go from. um I'm going to use Windows as an example because a lot of people, like when you go, people might remember, you know, like we had Windows 7, Windows mm -hmm. X, whatever, then 8 and then 10. And then every time there's like new functions that are put in. Yeah. So it's the same as doing that. So we're recoding in order to bring in um, whatever it is that we want to bring in, whatever mm -hmm. the next creation is for ourselves. And that um, what I'm getting as I'm saying that, so with that recoding, then there's a there's like it's a opportunity for a big paradigm shift where 
if we're staying in the old creation codes, the old that we've already created and the mindset that stuck around that, or, you know, or, or like whatever we're holding on to, then uh, we're still going to have um, a lot of belief work to still do, you mm -hmm. know, to clear up things like that, yeah. things from this lifetime or, you know, our, our DNA encodements and our family. And it feels like, with this stepping into this recodement that that is just like whoo you know that we don't carry that anymore like it's time to step into that um it's going into our heart lot and then really connecting to it in the light body that's within us and that when we activate that and it spans it out then it activates okay. our light vehicle that we move through and so then we're on an, it's just a whole new network is mm -hmm. what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Sounds and good. That, I like we're that. Gonna, we're going to see that in this world because where we had that um, on the solstice, where we had that conjunct with that zero point Aquarius and Aquarius is the future. So there's, we're going to see a lot of shifts this year um, with opportunities of all kinds of new platforms coming in in different ways you know we're going to really watch the um communication world um and uh, everything everything like move in you know like medicine will change there'll be a whole lot of advances with a lot of different stuff mm -hmm. that, that do involve um, technology and how it's going to support us yeah so uh, how can we use these this new time this new recreation codes to you know, re-motivate ourselves moving forward in this life. Right, and that that's really what they'll do. It's like when you do that, it will remotive. It real will do that. Like if you've been kind of in some stuck sluggish energy, yeah. you know, it, it could be. Oh, I got this. I don't know if it was when we were talking, and I got a download, and then it came in later. Sometime this week, I was talking to somebody. I saw how overwhelm the energy of overwhelm how was it mm -hmm. i saw this it's like that overwhelm is when we are not being our authentic self and that mm -hmm. we are trying to be what everybody else needs us to be and that that energy creates the overwhelm and it's like oh i thought the overwhelm was because i was like trying to do too many things and it's like well why am i trying to do too because my people pleaser has went out of control again and mm -hmm. it was really interesting that that energy of that creates so much of that so I felt like that this this recoding with this is going to like I'm you know I'm seeing it like scraping all of that off like you know clearing that energy so then we can breathe that we're not carrying that anymore and then we'll be able to um, connect to that, that Uranus energy of new insights. It's like all of these planetary energies and these cosmic rays are out there for us. So utilize them for mm -hmm. your high, best potential. Connect yeah. to that aspect of that that brings new insight to you. You know, connect to that aspect of Venus. Say, okay, I'm here. I'm ready to receive these energies to be in this balance and love with beauty and abundance and you know all of those things like that because it's all about relationship and to have to be in balance with that relationship too so we can connect to that part of it and not the the heaviness of the older structures mm -hmm. it's a lighter energy does that make sense awesome i love lighter and so when we're talking about the our divine blueprint, how can we have a clearer connection of our divine blueprint or to our divine blueprint, blueprint during this time and, and be able to use that some way to our advantage? What I'm seeing is that that's, you know, that's our platform. It's always been there for us. But then that overwhelm and all of the debris that we take on from everybody else, then we're like wading through all of it. You know, it's like, it's like all of this other garbage is there that's not even ours. And that sometimes um, it, it creates like, well, uh, you know, a bad connection. It's like it cre creates the stagnant, the, the energy that way because it's sluggy. And so when, when we recode, basically, it, 
it's like pushing all of that out. Like it's, it's all of that debris is being pushed out of the way. And so what they're seeing me is like, it looks like it's all, I'm seeing it as dirty water and that it's all kind of mucked up. And then when that flushes out, it looks like there's like these, they're like, I'm seeing them like portals. And then that that energy that we can call in these cosmic rays to, to assist us with that, to reconnect us to that. And it's the part of us that it's always been there for us, but it's like we're moving into it. And it's kind of saying yes to the, to the fact, it's, it's saying hell yes, is what I heard, I heard that went, no, it's saying hell yes, hell yes. It's like when you get the, when it's that kind of yes. Mm -hmm. And nice. that when we have that connection, then it, it just feels like, I, I can feel this expansion with it. So that that's what, so it's, that's why it's the recoding because of all of the debris. And there's so much debris in humanity and so many, you know, probably everybody on here is an empath in some way. And, and so all of that, all of that that we've empaths from ever eons has also been part of the overwhelm too. Mm -hmm. So it feels like moving up, moving up to a different platform with all of it. That's interesting. When I said that, then I saw like, it looked like those little, like a little hover thing. Like yeah. you step up and then you're like hovering above all of it. So you're above it and then you're not wading through it all. And when you're above it, you can actually see more clearly the bigger picture as well. Right. Because you're not, yeah. Stuck in the muck. Right. Good. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, I did say at the beginning, but just in case, if you have a question about this or, you know, something else that's going on in your life so that you can um, find context regarding what we're talking about, um, you can raise your hand or you can type your question in the chat. So I know that Linda has a question. I don't know what Linda's going to ask today because <laughs> I never know what she's going to ask, Linda. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to ask either. I forgot. <laughs> oh, wow. See? The you know, she already... Okay, she already so got recoded. Exactly. It's already started. <laughs> yeah, I probably have re been recorded. But okay, so does the recoding actually work with the DNA then to raise it, um, to shift it into using more of our strands? They told me that it's using all of the uh, bodies, like mm -hmm. the, multiple lot bodies, if you want to call it that. And so it's, um, yeah, it's moving difference from... You know, the difference from um, like when we had used to have dial up internet and then we move into, you know, wireless stuff, like the, the difference in between going then from copper to um, fiber optics. So it's so it's going to have um, um, what do you call that? What, like a connection to a clear connection to your to the gateways is what I'm hearing. Okay. Does that answer you? Yeah, pretty much. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, it's it sometimes is sometimes it is like confusing to understand until we actually experience it and go through it, right? And, but we're and, in our head trying to yeah. sort through all of it, and there's no we don't have the language here to really um, understand the coding. You know, at times. Um, there was something I got in there that there was, a, I saw right at the end, there was like, cause they're showing there, I'm being flashed like pictures. And, and then I'm trying to explain to you all the pictures that I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. um, seems like that's been, ha I'm, uh, as I'm saying that I'm noted, I mean, I get things that way anyway, but I'm noticing that even more and faster, yeah. you know, that it's like these, it's like flashcards. <laughs> it's like, doo, doo, doo. so I'm seeing the possible potentials is what we're, what I'm, what they're showing me is what I'm hearing. And so when you can see the possible potentials, then you, that also gives you more um, uh, energy and, you know, motivation, more inspiration to take the actions towards it. Like, because you still have to take physical action, folks, right? You know, like that doesn't stop. Yeah. I was going to say that it doesn't, yeah, it, it, you, we still have to do that. It's like, yeah, well, maybe we have the magic wand in their hand now 
then we forgot where we put the magic wand, but then you still have to use the magic wand. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's like you still have to say abracadabra or whatever, you know, to get it to work. So there's yeah. still there's still that. There's still that part of that. Yeah, for sure. Um, Boonam, do you want to unmute yourself? Boonam has her hand raised. Oh, I know what I was going to say about the DNA. Yeah. Okay. So in the past, when I used to do DNA activations and with, you know, everybody was running around and getting their lot body and their DNA activated, you know, we all went through a phase of that for a while. <laughs> like that was the thing that everybody was doing. And, and I still do it. One, one, one second, but I'm, I'll, I'll just, well, just one sec. Go ahead, Kim. And so people would get that done and they would be in this big expansion state, okay? And it maybe it lasted a week or maybe it lasted whatever. And then they would crash and they wouldn't understand, well, I got my DNA activated. You know, why am I not, I don't know. Why am I not levitating and flying and whatever it was it? They had some kind of preconceived notion that they would be doing mm -hmm. it was all activated. And um and when you activate all your DNA strands, because all your DNA, because you have like a cosmic DNA, so you have all of this energy connection to even more parallels, and it doesn't mean that you're still not going to have to clear that out. And that's what I started seeing happening. People would get their DNA activated, and they think everything was supposed to be, I don't know, some kind of magic something, and and now you know. I'm in this whole different thing and um, what it actually did, it does speed up things and make things happen faster. Yeah. But all that comes to you at once to work on. Like you, you know, you may collapse several generations, several life hoods, <laughs> several so monads like really fast, but it didn't mean that you didn't have to still process them. You know, and, and so I would see that with people and they didn't understand. And it's like, well, you get that, if you get that, um, like all of that activated and you don't have the transformer to hold the frequency, it's going to, you know, it's going to crash. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, that was my experience during that time period that people didn't, um, understand why and maybe they just couldn't see the changes in their life yeah do you understand what i'm saying but it was like you still had to do stuff because what it meant was that you said okay bring it on so then it brought in all of your galactic stuff too you know and so then you got to bring your galactic stuff in and you're still in a 3d skin suit in this realm of this dimension so then got you then you start processing that stuff that's why everybody was seeing reptilians all of a sudden you know it's like oh now i can see well everybody's got reptilians <laughs> it's like, and so all of that energy was going on and it doesn't mean those things aren't real because they are it's where you're dialed into and then suddenly you know you can see everybody's reptilians so it's like okay is that how beneficial is that for the day do you understand what i'm saying yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So sometimes it's like, well, how beneficial is that really? And how can you practically use that today? And that's what you always have to ask yourself. How can I practically use this information, this teaching today? You know, it's like, it's great to know about all sorts of different things, but how can you practically apply it in your life, in your day-to-day -day life? Right. Yeah. So all, right. all of those things were still going on, you know, that was still like in that person's encodements. And so all of those existences in parallels, all of a sudden, like the whole hologram would get activated. And then they had that to deal with and really didn't understand what was happening to them. Yeah, they were looking for a magic wand and, you know, that nothing, you know, it would be all puppies and kittens and roses and, you know, all that good stuff. Magic wands and unicorns flying around. <laughs> that, that, that does happen, but, you know, it's like, yeah, yeah right. But it's yeah. like, then how do we utilize that here? So if you're not, if you just get it activated and you don't keep doing things and still d processing all of it and working on it all of the time, then, you know, it kind of, it's like, it's exhausting. It's yeah. like, you know, that can be exhausting to be in that. And I mean, I've done it. I've been yeah. in that, that state where I'm in that, you know, is in it constantly processing. 
and then you, you get, get tired after a while you get tired after a while and then you you know you're not like you're almost like well now i'm not living life because all i'm doing is processing everything yeah yeah it's a balance you got to find balance right. um okay so i'm gonna i mean i'm gonna ask punam to unmute go ahead punam you can unmute now sorry Thank you so very much. I was just wondering, uh, will uh, uh, you be doing some kind of clearings also? And I really like this perspective that you gave for the work. And I would also like to understand what's the best protocol to follow in that case, because you say that we might get overwhelmed and we do not, like we think it will be a magic happening in our life, but then we unlock so much that we have to work on. So what's the best protocol and how do we maintain a balance? Okay, so we'll the process today uh when i the process that we're going to do when we go into into this chamber and then into where your creation chamber and connect to it so some of you all are going to be probably going straight into like what i call your monadic expression and connect into i'm going to lead everybody to that but some of you probably are going to have more experience with that and what I've been showed with it is when we go there and we go into this healing temple back to our creation chamber, then that's what will keep us in alignment. You know, it's so, so if you keep going after you open the doorway, which it's always been there for you to go to, but it's like, <laughs> I'm the tour guide today. I got the flashlight <laughs> and it's like, so we're going to go into this and then you can, you can ask those questions there yourself. You can, and it may come in, mine came in as tones and then like colors and light. And so that's what I've been doing. I, I, I asked like to go there to be aligned. And what I've been getting is when we do this, when we start doing this, when we start going into our heart lot and we align there first before we do an action, before we, you know, um, if we have something on our mind that we feel like we need to connect to somebody about, go there first, go into your heart lot, into your chamber, then connect with somebody and you're going to have a whole different outcome. If you go into alignment first, than if course, you yeah. just go to, with the ego to something. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's what it is that we're doing. So what I'm telling you is all those answers are there. And then when you get to that place, then you can start working with that yourself. And, um, you know, at the end of it, if you, any of you all have worked with me before, I always do transmissions into water. So then you'll have that water to use as an elixir. So we're going to do the transmissions from your own creation chamber of your codes into into something that you'll have so that then when you touch that that will be there for you so we can do water if you want to put it in a crystal you know whatever it is that you want to put those into okay did that okay. did that help answer you yeah uh, to some extent i was just wondering i have some kind of a blockage behind my heart in the back uh, mm. that's the one that i've been seeing that's what they did to me this week and everybody i have worked with this week it's uh, that, whatever that is, it's going on behind the back. It's kind of like um, when, I, when it was done to me, I actually saw it ripping through like flesh. And they were telling me that it was like this, it was like ripping it all so that I would open up to be this, like my total lot body that I am then, then that, that, that that core, it's like opening up to the core of that. And when that opens up all the way, then it's like, there's no more um, walls. Like we put walls to protect light so that nobody could take it from us until we got to this time period that we could be this full light potential. And so, so what I have been seeing this week with that, the back of the heart chakra is it's like this vault, basically this that we put there ourselves to protect it, that that's starting to open up. So it's like, it, and so some people it's going to totally like open up. And then some people it'll be more, like, you'll have a button, you know, like your garage button. It's like you're going to open and close it when you want to, but it's not going to be this solid like vault like that we put there. 
And we did it because it was just the time that we were in and that we've had to do that at times to protect it. So, so basically when you're recoding, you're going to be all those oaths and vows and things that we took in lifetimes to hide the lot, to protect the lot. It's like now we can be in, in this, um, we'll start being the, the lot that we are, that we really came here to be. And that it's time for humanity to start embodying that. So I feel like that that's what's going on with you too. Because you're, because you're, it's like the last person I worked on yesterday had that and you're the first person that has asked me a question today. It's like, yeah, that's there. Well, you're not the first person, Linda was the first person, but the first heart stuff. So yeah. other, some of you may already be feeling it right now. That's that place that some people have called in the past, like your galactic, like angel wing kind of things that that opens up. But I'm seeing it like deep inside of this, this, it's almost like a, like a, you know, like a bank vault, the way that metal, you know, looks, it's like solid like that. Yeah, it, so, feels, yeah. it feels like something is stuck there, stuck. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to clear that out. Okay. I'm going to okay. do that and I'm going to, instead of doing it right now with you, yours will probably go on and be started because you're already aware of it. So that's part of the thing that will happen for some people during this, that you'll, uh, and some people may just wake up to being aware, to knowing that they can feel that, that that's there right now. So just keep breathing, Poonam, and just stay on the call and wait for the activation, okay? Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Good, um, all right. So Cynthia had a question about, she said, I'm trying to figure out my next grandest adventure. Will the codes bring clarity to this for me? Ooh, that sounds fun. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that sounds really fun. I, I feel like it, what you all set your intentions with, than that and because we are still in this Capricorn new moon which is, you know we're still in the energy that we just had that what yesterday what is today Thursday yeah it was Tuesday, Tuesday. I think it, it, was Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday so we're still in the energy of that this week so that is that and setting it's not only just setting the intention for this cycle but it because it's the first moon new, new moon of the year we're setting the the intention you know for this year and then also like where we're you know, where we're going with things, where we kind of, we're stepping into a whole kind of um, really in a decade because 2020, you know, some people see that as the beginning of the decade or the end, which one is it? But we're stepping into a whole new, new energy with that. So if you yeah. would set the intention of that and for that to be brought to you of what that is, then you're going to get the ahas and then like the people will will show up like a little example for me was this week um you know I'm an artist too and my art process has always just kind of been my process and then I do it and I share it with people but and I've been on a couple of summits that are artists and artists doing um that type of work you know mm -hmm. like we're sharing things like that but I usually just do the transmissions or something like that with it and um, after, right after that happened to me, then I got um, like somebody sent a thing to me to be on this summit. And that's, they want me to be sharing art processes, like to take the process and share it and how I go into this and how I'm bringing in the different things that I do with it and what my process is. And, and then how I do that and how I activate that with everything else that I'm doing. I've never shared that with anybody, you know, cause it's been my own personal process. And I was like, I sat there with it for a second and I was like, well, I don't, how am I going to do that? And then, you know, I even connected to the person. I came back and said, well, I normally just do activations for people. <laughs> even though I'm an artist, I just do activations. And she was like, well, I would really like it if you would still, you know, do this in this way. And I was like, okay, I'm game for it. So that's what I'm, you know, that's, that's, that's the way it can happen. You know, like I did the thing and I've been wanting to step more into how I take my art out into the world and instead of just hoarding it all up for me. <laughs> and so then that recoding happened and, and, and that came that day. 
you know, like the opportunity came. Now I could have still said no to the opportunity, but, I, but instead I said, okay, I'll try this. Yeah. And that's so, the thing so, you said, okay, I'll try it. Okay. I'll play with it. Right. Not, so not, I, okay. I'm going to figure out exactly how it's going to look. Yeah. It's not about figuring out in detail what your next grand adventure is going to be. It's, it, you know, if you're trying to figure it out from your head, you know, you're on the wrong path, right? So it's about following your heart and what feels good and what feels light, what feels joyful, what feel, sometimes it can, it can feel a little bit scary only because sometimes we're stepping out of our comfort zone and trying something different, but the scariness, is it also exciting, right? Right. So and, Yeah. And then another opportunity came last night and it's like that, uh, I, cause I have two different memberships, one that's a little bit more astrology wise and one that's the other one that I do. And then where I'm wanting to move into supporting more of healers, creatives that are ready to, to do their impact instead of being the psychic healer for everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? It's like, it's like my role now is to sort so is to help support people to step in their role of the impact. And I know that. And so I, and so now I can, it's like somewhere something is happening and I can feel this pieces of the puzzle coming together. And so it's that just saying yes to it. And then your next great adventure will be there. And then yeah. you say yes. And then you step onto it and then, you know, something else unf unfolds and something else. Unf and you unfolds. keep saying yes. And as you keep saying yes, the puzzle pieces of that grand adventure are going to come together. Right. That's also what I'm seeing. It's like, but we have to be willing to say yes. Are you willing to say yes to the unknown? Are you willing to say yes to something totally different than what you've ever done before? Are you, are, you know, are you willing to? You know what? I just realized that I forgot that I did this when I was thinking about what, you know, like doing, uh, setting an intention for this year. And then I forgot about it. And I, you know, it was like, and I remember I had the thought, I may have even wrote it down somewhere that my intent, that setting my intention was going to be to say yes to everything and just mm -hmm. see what happens. Just say yes. <laughs> just say yes first instead of, you know, no, or I'll think about it to just say yes. So, so that's interesting that I hadn't made that even connection myself. Oh, the sun is changing here. I don't know what this is going to do. I may have to move. <laughs> no, it looks, it's fine. So hopefully that helps, Cynthia. See, look, the light is coming in. See, this is the dip. That's where we're going. Okay, this is this is a perfect example. It's like you're going into the light. <laughs> yeah, and right now we that's are. what we want. We we need more light. We are going more into the light now because of just you know if we're in the northern hemisphere, there's more light now, which is awesome. You know. Um, so are you willing to be the light and are you willing to allow the light to show you what your next grand adventure is? Well, that was big when you said that, are you willing to be the light? Because that feels like that's what this recoding is. It's like that yet saying yes to it. We, we said yes to when we came here and, you know, and then we go through all of the stuff that we do and it's like, and it's that opportunity of saying yes to being the light. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So yeah, hopefully yeah. that helps. Uh, Cynthia says, thank you. I'm willing to say yes. Just asking fear to take a back seat and the excitement to show up more. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I saw a whole thing with that this week when I was doing this transmission in my membership thing, when we were doing it the first time after they gave it to me in the first group I led through it. And uh, there was at some point, we'll see if that comes up with us today. And it was the the truth of what failure really is, and when she said the fear, because the fear is that fear of failure, mm -hmm. and that that's, you know, it's the illusion of that, and then we think we're protecting ourselves some way, and that's the ego totally in charge, Yeah, and and they're really, that whole energy of that, it's not when they, they were recoding that and re-downloading it, because it's like, it's not what you all have created it to be, and it never was that. And that it's like, um, I saw it like a trampoline and that like when you hit, hit it, you know, then you bounce and it's like, oh, okay, well that this is, it's like a re, a re, um, like re, what do you call that? Like re-navigation of the course, mm -hmm. you know, that it's just that all you have to do is get your coordinates 
and that that is really what that is and that there you know that wherever we put that in that whole thing that there is no such thing of failure and that and that we have held on to it and you know and it's the fear of it that holds us back from everything yeah for sure absolutely failure right. making a mistake yeah letting, and you can, letting people down you know that kind of stuff stuff yeah and like if we could see it it's like a, a like oh woohoo it's a reset point you know now i can get new new instructions it's like okay this is a new coordinates of this mm -hmm. awesome i like it it's exciting yeah um, so okay, we'll ask so, for the new coordinates yeah okay. i'm just kind of putting that this is a, <laughs> and then we'll see what happens with us <laughs> yeah exactly all right so anybody else have any any questions because um do you want to do the because I, I i feel like people will have more questions after we do the process the activation okay i think so you know like if, if anybody has another question a question about the activation or the recreation codes etc because that you know sometimes when we have um questions you know, then Kimberly will clear that during the process, during the activation, right? So, you know, like, for example, clearing the fear, you know, um, fear of making mistakes or fear of failure, right? So that's something that, you know, she can clear during the process as well. Um, and I, I forget what Poonam had said earlier on, it was a while ago, it feels like. But if there's any other questions, we'll, we'll, we'll take some more questions. And if not, then we'll do the process because I think it's going to be a really powerful process to start off with. And because we're still in the new moon energies, I think it's going to be really, um, like, like you said, reset point, but I'm also getting the energy of like, um, a course, correct, you know, kind of like mm -hmm. a course, correct is what I'm getting. That's what it feels like. Yeah. 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 So galaxy eight, I think it's Shama. G galaxy eight. I think it's Shama. I like that. Right. When Hi there. you said Hi. that it's a recourse then galaxy eight shows up <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> well, thank you ladies did you invite me to talk yeah did you have a question <laughs> oh i actually fell asleep and i just got on so basically my question really i just need a little um add I have a lot of clarity and a lot of good things going on and I'm feeling great and um, I'm not really immersed too much in what's coming. I'm trying to breathe it out and doing the right thing and so on. So Ooh, I'm just good. looking for a little, yeah, I, I just, um, you know, clearing off addictions and so on. It's like really working so well, thank God, you know? Mm -hmm. so, so I am looking at uh, how to channel this into whatever how i'm going to support those i'm going to support through this because i feel my life has been more in service because i could use my voice and i could articulate stuff i could discern and i'm really feeling my truth so i would like to mm -hmm. to just channel that through supporting I'm, I'm feeling the youths the young men women so much i haven't been able to connect with but our women are strong that you know they are the ones that support so our men to you know <laughs> take away from them their reputation so to speak well i tell the men the women are there to build their lifestyle for them to just you know have repetition with their peers and that we just have to look at that so i i am thinking more children more more people who need to know that there's a safety net and there is um it's okay to have choices and to lean on their own understanding and to not be afraid just not to be afraid so it's about you wanting to share your light your wisdom etc to support people yeah right? yeah and, i just i just so wondered if there was a, a something there that i haven't seen or i don't maybe. understand what your question is mm -hmm. Um, is there a, a direction that uh, some guidance that I could have to channel that in? Because I'm fearful in going out there and just said, hey, I could help you with this. I just help. Okay. Along. I, I, I guess I'm in a different space because of what mm -hmm. we were talking about. So I'm like, OK, I need so, to. So again, here. again, it's so, the fear of making a mistake or fear of not reaching the right people. Are doing the right yes are not doing the right to, thing to support people to share so she wants to share her gifts but she's afraid of you know how to do that so what are you what but what is she asking me what is she wanting for me to do clarity she's asking me to give her clarity yeah yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna hold you for pain sugar. It's like I got his brain. What is my guy? Go, yeah, what is my guy? I didn't know I was doing those kinds of readings right now, so I was like, <laughs> "What is she talking about?" I thought we were talking about these creation codes. So, okay, so you want to create. Hmm. So you're are you asking me to check your energy field of something to clear something? Is that what you're asking me right now? Oh, or maybe, yeah, or maybe where it's going, like, you know, a direction it's taking. Okay. Like, I, I, feel, I to... feel like I'm ready for a flow, you know? So these recreation codes that, that Kimberly is going to Yeah, I don't activate. think she's talking about anything that we've been talking about. I, I feel like <laughs> she's on, it feels like she came in on a different page. Does that make sense? And then, so she's like asking me something that didn't have anything to do with whatever we were talking about. So except that the except that the recreation codes will will assist her to you know find that clarity for the next step probably right well yeah, sorry really about that Kimberly really, you're right I I listened to the, your other show the other day and I'm kind of on that um, on Monday yeah 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 because it felt like well, disconnected so. and it was like okay this is not what we were talking about just now and this is like a whole different like over here somewhere else. Oh, so why did okay. that happen? Hmm. All right, um, I'll let you I'll let you go on with that and um I will adjust listen in for the codes. Okay, okay. Let me see if there's something. It feels like when we go through the process, there's some um like I'm seeing like the um your left and right brain. And so there's gonna be a um a um what's the right word I'm a meshing or a balancing word. yeah like a balancing of the right and left hemisphere mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's like she's all on one side is mm -hmm. what I'm it's like everything is like setting over here and so it's not even it's like not it's not allowing the unknown to come in is what I'm seeing. It's like, there's like a, it's looks well, like the way it is where I'm in this slide. Like what size slide it is. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. And so there's something that's going to open up because you're, you're in a, it. you're in a, like a, this box with it, a box with what it's going to look like. And so it feels like when this opens up, it's almost like there's a door that's going to open up that you haven't even looked into yet, like a door that right. you shut. And when you open that up, like, oh, there's a whole garden out here and there's a whole um, way to integrate this. And so it feels like you're on a, a, the, a place the verge. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I'm seeing that this trying to actually just come in from here and, and to come in. So it's some kind of part of your own... Um, I don't know, inner child wounded that you left some part out. And so that part is like ready to step in and to be part of superpower and magic. So awesome. it's some part of yourself that you denied. And so I would ask when we go through the process, then ask those aspects to come into the healing chamber with you. And um, so they can return to be the gift that they are. So, thank okay. You. So yeah, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Good. Thank you, Shana. Thank you, ladies. All okay. right. Yeah. So we are going to do the process now. So the, the you know, the best thing with, uh, I tend to yawn to the whole thing as Kimberly knows. So it's okay. So do people need to get water or something? I'm, I don't have water, but I'm going to use a, a, a necklace. You can get water or you can set the intention and then it can go into whatever it is. You yes. know, you can have it with you right now or you can set the intention and that it goes in into whatever that is for yourself. Oh, I feel like the sun is like wanting, it's like trying to <laughs> align me with the sun today. It's, I've been trying to do the I open meditations mm -hmm. for the sun and I didn't do it today. And it's like, okay, it's like pulling me in. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's like, okay, you can do it now. <laughs> Let me see if I can move up here and see. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Okay, is that yeah. better? Mm -hmm. Now I'm not, because I couldn't see anything. It's like everything was just one big sun glare for me. I think the solar flowers are supposed to be really strong today. 
So there's a lot of energy coming in that way from the sun. It's like, and the sun is the divine masculine. So it's that energy and the balance of, you know, for Gaia herself, because the two of them are, they're, you know, they, her, he gives her light for sustainability and then she gives us sustainability. So mm -hmm. that energy is really strong too. And so when those are come into balance. So that's what that was. I was seeing in her head. It's like that balance of the divine masculine and the divine feminine energy. And that when we're in the balance of that, then we're guided by the inspiration and the divine feminine is the inspiration and the divine masculine is the divine action. So we'll be more in alignment with that and it won't be as separate. Mm -hmm. Awesome. More in flow. Yeah. And that's what she was asking for to be more in flow as well. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's what this is. Awesome. Good. Let's get started. Okay. So everybody just breathe in and use your breath to come into your own essence, into your own being. And so with each breath you take, the more you come into your presence, and so we're going to breathe in this, um, breathe in the inner, it's a clarity, like this energy of clarity. And then when we breathe out, that clarity is, um, I'm seeing it like breathe going out in waves into creation. So we're breathing in this clarity and then we're breathing out the creation. So it's breathing in that alignment, then to the clarity, and then to the clarity back in, and then clarity to creation. So I'm seeing like the breath, like an infinity symbol. And so that wave of just using your breath is already bringing us into alignment with those frequencies. So as you breathe, we're going to ask to disconnect from the chaotic mind of humanity. So when you do that, here at your third eye, it's, we send our psychic energy out into the world, into all of that mind of constructs of humanity, because we believe that there's answers there for us. And so we're going to disconnect from that and bring our energy back into our own third eye, into our, our inner discernment, where the answers truly are. So feel that energy of that when you disconnect from that and you bring all of your energy back to yourself. You're decording from that, all of that socket mumbo jumbo, all the wouldas, couldas, and shouldas. And even the tragedies of the world is what I'm hearing. And so we have our mind construct. That's our own mind construct that we created in this lifehood from all of our experiences. We're going to unplug from that. You can just lay your little mind construct over on a shelf somewhere. If you want to pick it back up later, you can. Or you may see that you don't need that one anymore. But all of that energy, all of that accumulated mind energy from all of the traumas and dramas and experiences that tangled all those wouldas and couldas and shouldas into this um, configuration of fear is what I'm hearing. We're just going to kind of pull all of that out and lay that over over to the side. Okay, so just keep breathing and become, feel that energy and how you come more into your center and more into your own heart and into your sacred chamber when you disconnect from those mind constructs and what that feels like. Being in your pure essence in your center.
So we're going to ask to, for our own sacred chamber, to open up the door to our heart. And so sometimes it's easier to go into the back of the heart. And then sometimes you can go straight into the front. But it's those heart walls that sometimes we've created. And we're going to open those up that we can step into our own true sacred chamber and the divine heart light that is within inside of us. And this is the truth of our light body and the connection to it. So feel what that feels like when you step into that energy. <laughs> So when you go into this divine sacred chamber, your own inner awakened mastery self resides within this energy. So feel that connection to that and allow this alignment to come into balance and to flow into harmony. So your awakened self, your mastery self is going to escort you into a chamber. And so different people will be going into different chambers and there may be more than one chamber that you go into. So you're gonna go into this chamber and there's a seat for you. So you will, different people will be having different experiences with that, where that chamber is. It could be outside, it may be inside and may, you know, so wherever that is for you. So you're just going to sit down and take a seat. And this is like setting into this position. So breathe that energy in and feel this is connecting to the stability and the structure. And actually that the support that we have from the Capricorn and Saturn energy right now. So it's aligning you to, to this sacred structure that you have with inside of you. Feel that stability of that. And what it's like to be stable And grounded within your own essence. And so from this place, we're going to open up the chamber of our own heart lot. And that it's safe, that you're in your sacred chamber and that you're safe and protected. Feel what that feels like to totally open up that energy. And you can open it as big or little. It can be a little pin lot or it may be a huge opening, but it spans out. And it's a place of grace within you. And from this energy, it's like this energy expands out. So I'm seeing the light go through the central column 
and into the core of Gaia's heart and connecting to her heart light and then up through the body at the same time and then connecting into your like your solar codes to your God realization energy, the part that understands more than just earth that has the whole full picture. So it's the lot of that too. So it's, it's already aligning our, our earth purpose and our soul purpose and our cosmic purpose, our God realization energy. And that when we activate this heart lot, like that alignment happens. Ooh. So from this, some of you may have already went into your next chamber and you may have someone that comes to escort you that's part of your team, your monad, or it may just be like an opening that yourself that you know that to, to go into. So feel where that opportunity is. You go into your records into your divine blueprint and what wants to be anchored in for you personally. Allow yourself to just to set the all of the creation that has been. You're just going to set it down beside you just for a moment. You can come back and pick it up as you explore into your records, into your blueprint. Seeing it like a picnic basket. I'm seeing like a picnic, like a tapestry down and then like a little basket with the picnic. Going on the picnic with your picnic basket. So there may be different dimensions. You may get numbers or not. It's okay. It doesn't matter. But some people may get that information. Of what wants to come in into this now and to be utilized within your blueprint, within your creation codes, and the tools that will assist you in this recoding. So it may be color, sound, tones, you may, you may hear, see, feel, could be flavors, what that is. I'm hearing to say to this group, it's okay to stand in your own alignment and that it's like um, all of your, I don't know, like family, whatever, and the 3D support team, who you believe is your 3D support team, your family, your friends, all of that, you're not, a, you're not leaving them or being abandoned by uh, stepping into this for yourself. Because with by doing this, then you those create those connections can even be stronger. Because I was feeling this fear of like go of going into this that that um, I don't know that there was some energy with that. So this is for you right now in this moment. I've heard they'll be safe in their journey and where they're at. Oh. 
So there's, I'm um, seeing like, the, um, it's like repairs, repairing the lot body, like places that the lot has been burnt out and rips and that like there's repairs that are being done so that we can have the connection to our full potential. So I'm watching that. And so some of you may be like you've entered into the healing chamber because I'm seeing uh, like tables that are like crystalline tables with light and sound and that there may be some of you are in those chambers and then I'm seeing libraries where there's like a downloads coming in from volumes of like knowledge books. And you may experience moving from one chamber to the next like the healing chamber to the chamber of knowledge within your Akashic. So each process is bringing in a, it's like re-alchemizing. So there's like an energy to come into the container that is, it's the energy of truth <laughs> and the truth of truth <laughs> and what that really is and not what we believe truth is. <laughs> it's interesting. It's just a vibration. So it's aligning us with, it's something with the discernment. So now there's an opportunity to step into the chamber that's connected to your own personal so monad. And so when you, you, when you go into this chamber, um, just feel that connection to that and what your experience is with that, that you may be directed to a place like where you connect to others and these others are you of your own soul monadic expression and it's where it it comes together in this place of wholeness so feel that connection to that and the restoration when you come in connection with it to your total um monadic expression and what it feels like to be in that this is like your holy of holiness chamber that you when you can go and you can reconnect to everything tell me it's the before the before Ooh. okay so from this place we're going to invoke this energy of this frequency for your own elixir and so you may drink that in there and you may anoint yourself with it. You're going to use it in different ways. 
like I'm seeing mine is this big golden chalice that's being handed to me. So we're going to use these planetary alignments that we have that are here present for us to anchor this energy in into our embodiment. And any of those programs, templates, that no longer serve us, that, that, that the new ones can come in and be put into place and to be recoded. You may feel expansion in your heart. It's really your high heart. So there's like a, a integration that's happening between the high heart and the heart where they're coming together as one unified unit. The high heart doesn't carry the emotional wounds that the heart itself experienced. So breathe that energy in. This is your own healing elixir for you. And then that energy is going to drop down through your whole central column. like plugging in to this foundation and into your blueprint. And then we're gonna activate it. Ask for that energy to activate. And so with that, it's like it's activating our infinity grid and there's infinity symbol below your feet. And when that activates that, that support of Gaia herself, the love and support that she has for you. What that's like to be supported. And then there's infinity symbol at your knees. And when we activate that, it's how to move forth with this energy, what it's like to be supported and what the next step is, how to step into the next step the infinite wisdom of that and then there's the infinity symbol at your hips and when we activate that that crisscrosses into that root chakra and up through your host system creator's definition of survival and the truth of what that is how to stand in the power of being your sovereign self in this time and the balance of that of harmony grace Oh, something else. Balance.
that energy goes up through all of our energy centers, signatures, out into our light body, activating our whole macrobic feel. And anchoring that energy in to this embodiment. And it's like, I don't know, flipping the switch on. I'm seeing it, hearing it like sonar to those that will connect to. So when that energy comes back across the heart at the um, sternum is there, this word soul assimilates into this life hood. So it's recalibrating the soul into this blueprint and into this recodement to this highest potential where it, it can embody to this recoding of this energy and this template. so that energy expands out we have a helper i don't know if you all can hear him or not but the dog has decided that he needs to help us <laughs> okay and so now we're going to bring that energy in all the way into our core And you can stay connected to that creation chamber and your own soul monad, or come back from that. But you, this gateway, this doorway is open to go into it at any time. And so it's a place of your own healing chamber, a place that you can go and be um, rejuvenated to the truth of your essence and the purity of your essence and what that really is. They keep saying it's the before the before. So when you're ready, just breathe that in. We're going to bring that into this time we call now. And so while you all are coming in, I'm going to let this dog go outside. All right, how is everybody doing? If you're back, how are you doing? How is that process for you? Share your comments in the chat. Um, and if you have any questions now, <laughs> any more questions now, just raise your hand. Okay. So keep breathing, obviously, right? Yes. I'm so hot now. Oh my goodness. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, so hot. Yeah. Look at me. I'm in the total lot now. I'm just like, yeah. there's not even a glare on me. I'm just like beaming light out. That's so funny. Could you all hear Marley when he decided yeah. he needed to help us? <laughs> yeah, we will. Like, we will receive that help. Absolutely. No problem. No, he was like anchoring it all in. And then it was like, okay. And then I kind of got the sense. It's like, that's enough for me. I need to go out and ground this for you all. Then he wanted to go outside. And I thought, I don't know if they could hear him on my headphones. That's not me making those noises. This I time. know at first I wasn't sure. It's like, oh, is that, is that your, your uh, granddaughter? But then I was like, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching the grand dogs today. It's like I'm weird with the dogs instead of the mm. kid. So they were, he was helping with all of it. <laughs> so Sabunam so says, my third eye is pulsating. Um, will we be able to get the replay so that I can hear the activation again and do it again? Yeah, absolutely. It's, it'll be on Facebook. It's on 
YouTube, it's on um, the podcast. So, you know, I'll be sending the replay out shortly after the call. Um, Cynthia said, the love that I felt was so ancient, ancient, so nurturing and so loving. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah, yeah definitely. Interesting. I kept yeah. saying before the before, because I felt like it was, yeah, it, that, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And definitely you can do the activation again. Absolutely. No problem. Yeah. Right? And that was totally different from the, every time I've done this, it's been totally different. It's with the group. When uh, the first time I did it with me, when they did it with just me, when I sat down in the, the seat, yeah. the first number, there was a dragon that came like I was at a, you know, the dragon bar or something that came and it brought me these elixirs that were different colors. And they look like, you know, when they're foaming, like dry ice mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I was drinking these elixirs. And then um, that time with it, it was, I had this humongous big golden chalice and I was, and I poured it on top of my head. I didn't drink it. It was like coming down and it was going all into my light body. So it's been different every time nice. I've done this. Well, Shama says, I was in ancient Greece being served the elixir in a dropper. Oh, awesome. wow. <laughs> um, Diane says, says, that's good. Diane says, I felt blocked energy shifting and leaving my body through my breath. Good. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. Because it, it can, right? It can, it, it can just leave through your breath. Absolutely. So good. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, whew, all right. So... We didn't talk about the special offer yet, Kimberly. I know, I was thinking about that. I, I, I thought, should we talk about that before we go in this so we won't be so expanded that it's like, the what is the special offer is your package A. Well, one second. So if you are on the live page, you can just click on special offer. If you're not, you can go to lara.at forward slash show forward slash Kim one. And so it's uh, package A is three live group calls and access to two months of the private membership. And package B is everything in package A plus 12 days of transmissions. So got a session with me too, or just the transmissions this time? Uh, just, the, just the transmissions. Okay, I couldn't remember. So when you're in that, because people always say, well, when do the calls start? So the calls start whenever you step into it, because I oh, have the sorry, program. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Yes, there is a 30 minute session in there too, yes. You know, sometimes I have it and sometimes I do don't. Yeah. So I didn't know if it had it on this one. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Um, yeah. The calls start whenever you step into the program because I, in my membership, I have ongoing calls all of the time. So your three calls will be, it's not like, oh, it's this program when we start on this date and we're doing this. It, it'll, be having, it'll be the calls that you step into during that time period that you're there. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's that you'll, and, and so all my calls, we do questions, answers, like what we did here and then, um, and transmissions, you know, that kind of thing, like whatever new is coming in, then that's oh. what happens. I'm so blind. In the it, moment. Was, it was there and I didn't even see it, but yeah, sorry. Let's go ahead. Yeah. Everything package A, 12 days of transmissions and 30 minute sessions. See, I'm still quite a little bit out of it. <laughs> right. So the 12 days of transmissions, um, I, there's a private Facebook group and I do that in those like I can, I put you on a grid and then we put the energy on the grid and then for 12 days I connect to the energy and send the transmissions into the grid where your name will be. And then I um, usually, uh, sometimes I go live and do them, but lots of times, I mean, they may happen at three o'clock in the morning. So then I'll come on either on the Facebook, last time I did it on the Facebook group, but then I'll also put that in membership so that people would have it in that platform and then they could go back and listen to it whenever. And so I am basically kind of just the commentator of telling you what the energies were that come in and what I witnessed during that time period. So I just connect into whatever's happening and I've been feeling it really strong to do a grid right now with all of the, you know, changes that are happening in humanity. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I don't always put those in the package either. And I thought, okay, we need to do it. I need to do a grid. So we might as well throw this in on this package cause it's time to do these transmissions right now that we go. all could use this yeah. as Good. we're getting in through all of this. Okay. Um, so questions with that? Did I go over it too fast? Nope. 
That's fine. That's good. So uh, uh, everything is there on the page to look at. So package A is the three live group calls plus access to two months of private membership. Package B is everything in package A plus 12 days of transmissions plus a 30 minute one on one session with Kimberly. So package A is 97 and package B is 147. Um, so both of those packages are available um, at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Kim one. Awesome. Good. Yeah. So and the calls are the recorded. So yeah. if you're not on, because most, lots of times I do those calls usually on like Sundays around noon central time. So if you have a time zone problem with that, you know, if you're in another country or something, that's just so you know, they're recorded and yeah. then you can go back and listen in, to them at any time. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Like always, right? Like yeah. these days we, I think most people record everything. So it's great. <laughs> um, Sean says, I was in the library filled with books and then in a crystalline lounge chair in a room. Awesome. Good. Suzanne said, there was a tall black cat with me. Ooh, I wonder who that was. Yeah, that's interesting. And Shama says, I felt energy throughout the chambers, was cool at the end, much healing took place. Good. Uh, Cynthia says, thank you. What a beautiful gift today. Much appreciation. Oh, good. I'm glad. And like I said, you can go back and listen to the activation again, do it again. Um, on your own and, um, you know, see what else you experience, right? See what else you see or feel. Yeah, or some, it's something, yeah, it'll, something different will happen each time. I did the, I redid it today from the first group that I led through that, and that one's in that, in the membership portal. So that's also, you know, when they go into membership, that's in the portal, like the, uh, in that the portal now, what I have in membership, if you have, if you ever bought from me before, I didn't have this platform until August mm -hmm. uh, in the way that I'm doing it now. And so I'm actually, Kajabi is a platform that's out there. That's the one that I'm using. So everything goes into it. So there's like my signature programs are in there where you can go and listen to those. And then the, the access to the library to, to the other, like the solstice calls in there, the one that I did, you know, all of those are in there right now. So you'll have access to that during the time period that you're in there. Oh, that's the other thing too, while you're in membership, you also, did I put that on the package this time? Yeah. <laughs> Part of being in my membership is you get 25% off of any, anything else that extra that you do with me during that time period. I don't know if I put that on there. Or yeah, not. you did. But yep. that's that's part of my part of what my members get in my membership. Mm -hmm. So you've got to. Yeah, so that's available too. Um, Deb is asking. She said, "I also was with a black cat. Is that significant?" So there are two people that had black cats. Is that significant? It's really interesting. You all go have to ask yourself and find out what your black hat is. What that's about. See, when I think of black, when I thought of, when she said black hats, I thought of, uh, you know, in the feng shui. There's two or three different, um, what do you call that? Schools of feng shui. Yeah. And there's one that's called the black hat. Oh, okay. <laughs> and because that was knowledge that I knew in this lifetime, that that was one of the studies and that that's what they call it for some reason. I don't know why it's called the black hat, hmm. but it is. And so my mom went there, but that doesn't mean that's your all's answer. <laughs> you yeah, my, my, like, my mind went to a black jaguar is where I went, right? So... You know, no, and you know, jaguar medicine. Was it when? What does that look like and mean to you? And you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, because I would go back to it myself and talk to it, journal after this to see the symbols that you got yourself. Write them down. You can connect to them. You know, it may have been downloading you with uh, one of your. I, I don't even remember what I said during it because you know I'm channeling. Yeah, but there was something about your tools that it was bringing to you that are yours. So it could be, it could have been that it could have been downloading you with that. It could have been the connection and it was just bringing that to you right now, or it could have been showing you that you're like part of this council because that was um, somebody that I did a one-on-one -on -one with yesterday with it. Like she went to that, that inner council of the part, like of one of the councils that she's with, like part of what it is that her assignment is here, you know? So it could, it could be that too. It could be that kind of energy. Hmm. There you so go. I would so. connect to that and find, ask yourself and find out mm -hmm. what yeah. is it. Ask questions. So you do, what's the symbol for you for? Yeah. Yeah. And what does it mean for you right now? Yeah. Yeah. 
Because even some of the some of the symbols that we're going to be getting nowadays, they may not mean exactly what they meant in the past. All right. So yeah. everything is changing. So everything is. is being upgraded and upgrading. So just ask, what does this mean now? Okay. Yeah. What does it mean now? And where you're at now, what does it mean to you in this now? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good. And Thank how to you. use it, how to utilize that information for yourself. Yeah, in a practical way, day to day for yourself, practically, yeah. It's not just about accumulating knowledge anymore. It's about using that knowledge, using that wisdom practically in your day to day life to create your life that you want. Yeah, okay, your to practical forward. magic. <laughs> yeah, okay, so cool, awesome. Good, thank you everyone. All right, so, so uh, anything else you wanna share with us, Kimberly, before we go? Oh, that's it, we're done. Yeah yeah i'm good <laughs> awesome good thank you all right everyone so thank, thank you thank you, you thank you thank Go you back. for being here today exactly so this was fun this was different this was you know again a process that a process or activation that kimberly did not do before because it's always different each time she does it so this was totally new and different for this group whoever is watching now listening now watching later listening later i know okay? we did not tell you that i would, i said yes to be in here today just like one day like wednesday or something last i know week, right it was like it was last minute suddenly i get this whole download yeah <laughs> because like, before oh, that she she didn't respond to me didn't respond she's like i'm looking at the yeah, dates I'm okay saying, cool i'm done with summits i'm not doing them anymore i was like in that place <laughs> And then she's like, okay. I was like, all right. Yeah, well, this is, this is the this. only date available in January. She's like, okay, I'll take it. It's like, okay. And, and that's the way it is. See, when you say yes, as soon as I said yes, then it's like, here's here, here's something for you to hand out to people. Now you can serve them. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly. Like, it's like, come to happy hour. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, everyone. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Thank Bye. you, Kimberly. Bye for now. It's, it's 3.33 here. So it that's is. really. Yeah. Oh, and I looked over, it was like, oh, it's 3.33 on Central Time Zone. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We'll take it. Yep. It, it just yep. means that the masters are with you or whatever. You exactly. Believe. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it. Bye. Right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>